Three. Woohoo! I got a yellow one! I got a red one! I think. Yay! Favorite color! Woohoo! Where is the ocean the deepest? I don't know. The bottom. <laughs> <laughs> What's yours? Uh, what do you get from a pampered cow? A what? A pampered cow? Yeah. I don't know. Spoiled milk. Spoiled milk. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Hi guys, I am Chris Gaylor. And I'm Amber Foss from Kitchen Cosplay. If everything went the way we wanted it to, it's supposed to be Christmas tomorrow. And, and some of you might be celebrating tonight, actually. And uh, even if you're not, we wanted to wish you uh, happy holidays. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We wish you great times with your loved ones and we hope you have been enjoying this time with us. So for today's Christmas edition, we are watching a child movie of mine, one that she didn't watch. Okay, no, wait. Okay. Hear me out. I know about Home Alone. Uh -huh. I know about iconic scenes. It has played on my TV while I was in the room several times, like every year. But you never watch it. <laughs> I've never watched it, okay? I, like, I've seen it played, being played, but I just never sat down and watched it. Like, I saw people review the movie, I saw people like do parodies of this movie. Such a shame. I, I saw someone do like a uh, review of the video games about the movie. So I know, I basically know what's gonna happen. I just never saw the movie. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna discover this with you guys because it's it's like a classic. It plays every year, and uh, I'm really ashamed I never saw it. So we're gonna yes. rectify that. We all are for you. Anyway, so let's not keep you waiting anymore, guys, because we too want to go celebrate Christmas, and let's play play. This is my place. Yeah. John, don't show your butt to the camera. Oh, fuck. You miss? You still miss? No. <laughs> Sorry. John Williams did the music. Isn't that also the one who did the music in Harry Potter? Well, if you heard trouble, trouble, horrible, oh, trouble. Not the third one, the first one. He <laughs> my pizza on purpose. He knows that it's sausage and olives and Look what you did, and... you little jerk. You call a kid a jerk? And he's part of his family. Wow, I feel the love. Both of his kids are still going to school here, and I guess he missed the whole family. I think that's one of the robbers because Paris he'll recognize the together. teeth. You're taking a trip to Paris. The Tuesday. Yes, we have to leave tomorrow morning. Excellent. Yeah, he's definitely. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's obvious. It's in good hands. <laughs> so that's why. Why can't he sleep in his own bed? Family hates me. Maybe because of the hot calling hunt, I guess. I don't want a new family. I don't want any family. Family suck. Just stay up there. I don't want to see you again for the rest of the night. I don't want to see you again for the rest of my whole life. And I don't want to see anybody else either. Peter! <laughs> Where's <Where's it been? laughs> so they were in such a rush that they took out one of their you own kids? I, I saw that part. You'll see. Yeah, they're gonna count him as Kevin. That's how it happened. Okay. Half in this band, half in this That's not even one of the parents. I know, but she's the oldest child. Even though, as a parent, yeah, if I'm going to France, I want to make sure that all my children will be there. Yeah, I know. 
I think it, in this case it was because they were really late and they were really stressed out about missing their plans. I, see I know. Miscues. That's like the best example of bad parenting in movies like this. Hope we didn't forget anything. <laughs> Hope we didn't forget anything. Yeah, just your kid. But in a good, in a sense, it's gonna make them realize that they really care about him, and it's gonna make him realize that he really cares about them. But uh, yeah, not good parenting, especially since it happened again, like a couple, yeah, like uh, next year or a couple years after. I don't know. I think it's next. It's got next year. I made my family disappear. Of Kevin course. Is completely helpless. No, Kevin, you're with the French call Les Incompetents. She's got Kevin, a great pronunciation. To my Seriously. Yeah, great family. I made my family disappear. Yeah, she's happy. <laughs> Look at him. Oh gosh. Kids like this, they don't realize the danger or how bad this could be. Not at first. Let me know if you know that I've seen two times a one. Oh my god. Where the kids are left in the city and all the adults are gone. Kevin! <laughs> I, was, I knew this. I was waiting for this. Kevin! <laughs> Friday morning. Friday morning. That's two days away. Oh my god. I mean, the worst case scenario, just leave the family and the uncles and aunts there and you go back. It might be easier to find one or two seats rather than 13. Yeah. But I think that's what she's doing right now. Yeah. With the don't form of the shampoo, and you scream which for that just wash shine. I can't seem to find my toothbrush, so I'll pick one up when I go out today. Other than that, I'm in good shape. That's famous scene. <laughs> I saw that scene before. <laughs> oh god. The famous. Uh... <laughs> oh gosh. It actually reminds me of a great story about my brother. But uh, I'll tell it after the movie. I have two stories about my brother, actually. Uh-oh. He thought about laundry detergent. Are those microwave dinners any good? I don't know. I'll give him a whirl. For the kids. and your sisters. I'm an only child. Where do you live? Uh, I can't tell you that. Why not? Because you're a stranger. He's so good. He's like too intelligent for his own good though. Yeah, a bit too. A bit too bit oh. oh no. Of course. Too, but in French, though. 
genoux, yeah. Entends, attends, ta délivrance. Noël, Noël, voici le Rédempteur. Oh, 
Oh my god, I'm gonna freak out too. <laughs> At this point, it's either he's really good to overcome these two, or they're very dumb not to be able to... Uh, Maybe both. Yeah. Maybe both. Hiya, pal. We outsmarted you this time. Get over there. Oops. I gotta slap him right in the face with a paint can, baby. Is that his house? That seed. <laughs> I heard something about that seed. What? Like I heard that. I, I don't know why. I don't remember why. But I think the kid wasn't scared enough, or he wasn't, you know, professional enough. So the the actor, he was done with him. So he like he really scared him, and he like really bit his finger and stuff. What? Yeah. But thank God for Shovel Man. They're coming back in the second one, right? In the second one? Yeah, I think there's the the bad guys in the second one. It's them again. Maybe. Maybe he wished to get back his family. Yeah, that's Christmas. what that's what he wished for. Yeah. Dylan, what it did? <laughs> yeah. Well, at least he cleaned the house. Yeah. Where's everybody else? Oh, baby, they couldn't come. They wanted to so much. Oh, no, no, I didn't fall asleep in yeah. the bed. Yeah, that's Which means all the trouble she went to through to find a ticket was for nothing because they ended up arriving at the same time. Well, she couldn't have known back then. It's pretty cool that you can burn the place down. Yeah, like, <laughs> oh, wait, I, I used all your money, you and your spider's probably running around the house right now. How did you guys get home? What else did you do while we were away? Just hung around. <laughs> yeah. Scared of pizza uh, delivery guy. Scared to rubbers. By the way, if you find socks and shoes stuck to the stairs downstairs, they're not mine. <laughs> I hope the neighbor call his son. Yeah. He did. Because he's uh, he did the same with the robbers, but this this one is uh, cuter. Kevin, what did you do to my room? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. It was like that when I woke up. Was it me? It was the burglar? You <laughs> were me. <laughs> Finally, I oh. watched this movie. <laughs> Wait. Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. New Year. New Year. New Year. <laughs> and a Happy New Year. <laughs> I said New Year. I heard ear. Anyway. You heard me. Uh, I understand why it's such a great, like, it's such a classical movie that they play every single year. Because we love to watch well, a kid torturing adults, adults man. <laughs> No, but there is something innocent about having a kid, you know, being the main character. And you mentioned that you've seen the different uh, movies where uh, all the adults disappear. I personally have read 
and I love this, the book series Gone. If you haven't read Gone by Michael Grant, check this out. It's such a great movie, uh, movie book series. It's really good. Anyway, and it's the same concept. I mean, it's a bunch of kids and all the adults suddenly disappear. Why is that? Why is this concept so popular? It's because they, they can do adult stuff when the adults aren't there, but they have this innocence or this lack of morale that comes with being a kid. Like for uh, in this movie, we saw that what we considered outrageous or dangerous or, or scary, he yeah. didn't consider like at all. He was not, you know, scared by the fact that these two men could have really hurt him or really, they could have taken him away. Like they could have done anything. He wasn't even thinking about that. He was scared because he didn't know them. And when he started fighting them, what he did to them could have been really bad. But because he's a kid, one, it makes his choices less outrageous because he doesn't understand how bad they could be. And two, it's funnier for us because there's an innocence about this. If it had been a, an adult, it wouldn't have been the same kind of movie. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So having a kid being the main character and going through these things, it makes us, it makes the director, it, well, and the center, the scriptwriter able to create situations that could have been done by adults and could have been really bad. But for us, it's, it's funny because to see a kid go through all these adult stuff, we find it cute. And there's also the fact that he's going at this with as like, he wants to act like an adult. He wants to be the big man, but he's so cute. And he's so like, <laughs> he's so naive he's so in innocent yeah while doing so yeah just to like buying a toothbrush i mean how cute was that but it's not supposed to be like it's, it's boring and when he was chased by the police officer it's not supposed to be funny but it was because he's just a kid and the actor was you know cute as hell really okay. funny yeah it does help a lot yeah and yet again, it's it's a Christmas movie. I mean, I see the same uh, morale as I saw in uh, all the other Christmas movies we've seen. Family is important. People you love, you know, even though sometimes you might be mad at them, even though sometimes uh, you might not get along with them, they are important. The people that are around you that that love you, it's important to keep them close and. Uh, like we saw with the neighbor, he was having a falling out with his son, and he was scared of calling him because he was he, he didn't want to see if he was gonna just hang up or just not talk to him. But and the kid was right. I mean, Kevin was actually pretty mature for his age. He was really right. Or you you said that uh, it's because he doesn't. He's a kid. He doesn't understand like the con the the. He doesn't really care about the consequences, and he doesn't really understand his circumstances. Like you love your son, so call him. It's obvious. But an adult with, well, I love my son, but if I call him, maybe he will say that, maybe he will say yeah, that. Sometimes, I just think to put simpler thing way more complicate. Yeah. I think uh, this movie showed us that sometimes it's better to go at things with a, a kid's heart. With a kid's mentality. It, it's like dumping a, a <laughs> paint. Yeah. Bar. Paint contain containers. Paint, paint containers on someone as I said. Hot heron. Freaking to... burning the head of someone. Be a freaking psychopath. Putting your freaking nail on the steps, knowing that someone might, you know, impale his foot on it. He was a psychopath. <laughs> but uh, no, it was it was nice. It reminds me. It, it's the kind of movie that reminds people that it's uh, y you don't know what you have until you lose it. And so it's important yeah, it's to sh cherish. It's important to cherish the moment that you spend with your loved ones. And uh, I'm repeating myself because I've, I've been saying the same thing for all the Christmas movies we've seen so far. Yeah. But I think that's the spirit of Christmas. It's cherishing the moments we have, and the people we have, and saying that you love you love them, and not being afraid of saying you love them. And it's about also the fact that don't be a jerk to your kid brother because he could end up being alone <laughs> on Christmas morning and be very sad. Don't do oh. that. I feel a bit sad for him though when he thought that his family wasn't wouldn't be back for Christmas and then yeah. he technically did lose all of them. Because yeah, he, he definitely sad. he thought he definitely thought it was his fault. 
he that's that's why he's a he's a bit young to really understand what happened. So I don't think he's gonna ever be mad at his mom or his dad for leaving him there because he thinks it's his fault because he believes that he made the wish. So I'm ha like you said, I'm happy too that they didn't think, well, we'll, we'll just leave him there for a couple of days and the police is supposed to be there, so it's okay. It's nice to see that the mom did everything in her power to go back, even though they could. He was eight years old. Yeah, but even though they maybe had if he was a teenager, there would be eyes. Oh, she, yeah. she could uh, handle herself for the time being. But we can reach her. You know what I mean? The, the dad, the dad said, "Well, the police officer, you know, talked to him and he went to him, so there he's being taken care of. So we'll wait till we have a flight available to us to go back." And in the end, they got home at the same time as the mom did. But I like the fact that the mom still did everything in her power to go back home. That shows that she's not a bad mom. She just went in over That's her head. That's a caring mom. Yeah. But yeah, I said I had stories about my brother. Uh, <laughs> what about it? Um, I, you probably remember both of them, but there's a. I, I keep reminding myself that when he put the aftershave and he it burned his skin, it's so it's so funny because he still did it. But and I remember my brother when he was really young used. Um, I don't know why he did this. I think it is his uh, his arm hurt or something but he put icy hot on it but he put a lot of icy hot on it and it's like it's a, if you don't know what icy hot is it's uh it's a gel it was a gel that you you put on your skin and you rub it and eventually it gets really cold and after that after that it gets really hot isn't it the, the reverse i don't care but it gets really cold and really hot and oh. it's to help the muscle. And he put so much of it on his armpit for whatever reason. And I was in the I was oh gosh. I was in the watching TV and I see him do that and I'm like, what? What are you doing? He starts crying and we can't do nothing because it's in his skin. It's been rubbed already. There's nothing I can do. So he just starts crying. It burns! <laughs> Oh my, but, oh my gosh, I remember that <laughs> so hard. Oh god, oh he was gosh. a kid. He, he was so innocent. It's so uncomfortable though. Yeah. Even on the, uh, because I remember I, I uh, hurt uh, my knee uh, one time. And not on, the, on the, the top side, but just right on the head when, my, when you flex your leg. Yeah. And I put ice out. On on it. It. But since it's in the... Um, There's no muscle there. No, but um, the, the tendon was hurt. And I put Hysia there. And oh gosh, it was so uncomfortable. The, the, the cold and the, the <laughs> hotness of it. But it, should, <sighs> it goes to show that kids, they're so... Well, they can be so stupid, but it's in a funny way. <laughs> It's it's really cute to see like how, to, what what they can do actually to feel like an adult because I mean it's it's an adult product to kids like daddy uses it I think that's what happened I think he knew that dad my oh, dad gosh. used to I remember when I was a kid also I I used to watch my dad um, doing his morning routine to before going to work and sh uh, shaving his beard we did did you shave your beard <laughs> well <laughs> I didn't shave my beard. <laughs> Obviously, but my little brother had a, a toy razor from uh, Bob the Builder, okay. I guess. So I washed my with a little smooth smoke cream. So I was with my dad uh, and I was doing my morning routine with him. And I put cream <laughs> on my face with the, the toy razor of my brother. And I was like, I'm doing, I'm doing like you, dad. Dad must have thought it was really funny. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, kids kids want to be uh, like the grown-ups. And in this case, he was he was really good at it. I mean, he went to shop and he, 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 he like asked for a pizza. At his age, I didn't know how to do half of the stuff he did. Well, Mom technically sent us the grocery stores to buy her, yeah, to buy her yeah, stuff that I could do that. Young. But I mean, you know, calling for a pizza, I wouldn't have done that at eight. Or uh, what else? Cutting a tree to make my own Christmas tree? I wouldn't have done that. Nope. Well, and all he did, all he's he an built, evil genius. yeah, all he built to protect the house. That was, that was insane. I mean, but uh, and yeah, like I mentioned, I had another story for uh, about my brother. Sorry, brother, if if you ever end up watching this, 
But uh, what is it? I thought of uh, the fact that kids, you know, they don't see the the situation as we see it. They don't realize how bad it could be. And in this case, it's it's what reminded me of the story. But in this case, he wakes up alone in his house, and for him, it's like a dream come true. He doesn't realize that it could be really bad because he's a kid. And it reminded me that remember that when uh, my our brother was really young. I think it was two or three years old. And uh, he went to sleep at, Mar at our grandma's house. And our grandma lived like a couple streets. I think by foot it was, it was what, 15 minutes to go to our grandma's? 15, 20 minutes by foot. Yeah. yeah. It's like, it's, it's, it's kind of far, but not so much that you can go by foot and, and be okay, you know? But he was three years old and he was sleeping at our grandma's house. And uh, I don't know what happened. During the night, he felt like he You're missed... sure he was three years old? Yeah, he was really young. I think he was two. And uh, he no, could walk, though. He could walk. Two, maybe well, four, I think five. mom said... I think mom said he was two. But anyway, he was really young. He was young. He wasn't four. That, that's for sure. So he two or three. Young. And uh, I don't know what happened. I think he decided in the middle of the night that he didn't want to stay at grandma's house. And he wanted to go back home. And he just up and left. He was like in his... Uh, what, what do you call him? Uggies? No, is a sekusi kush. Pampers? Pampers? Yeah, he was wearing all these. Uh, he was he was wearing his pampers and stuff, and only that. And he just walked out of the house while my grandma was sleeping, and he started walking home. And in the morning, my mom was woken up by our cat that's freaking mewing <laughs> over there. Shh, baby. Anyway, she was woken up by the cat, by the cat, and usually uh, when, when our cat was really young, we used to close the door and leave him in our basement. Our brother went down through the garage and in the basement and, you know, he opened the door and that's how my mother woke up with the cat on her chest. That's how she knew that something, someone opened the door. She went downstairs and there was our little brother, <laughs> two years old, in his pampers. He had walked alone all the way home. In the middle of the oh night. Oh she freaked out so much. Yeah, and uh, he didn't realize how bad this could have been, how bad it could have ended up. And uh, But we laugh at this now, but uh, yeah, it could have been really bad. <laughs> so kids don't care. Kids don't realize how dangerous stuff like this could be. But that's what makes it funny and cute when we watch it on TV, not on live television. <laughs> anyway, still... Anyway, so that's it, guys. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching these movies with us. Uh, sorry if I didn't see Home Alone until now, or even Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, it's it's not that I don't watch Christmas movies. It's just that I don't know what happened. I just didn't pay attention to them. Anyway, now I corrected that. So thanks for watching the this with us, and uh, yeah, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to you guys. Merry Christmas. Bye.